Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Even Better Presents. This is, of course, Seven Days to Die. Oh, hello. That's not supposed to be like that. Um. Yeah, I'm ch cheating. Some stuff here. Don't don't sweat it. I'm just here to show you. Show you something that I built. So, um, I'm going to show you the iron mine that I got. That I, you know, I found similar iron mines that allowed me to build this structure that we're in here. Holy shit, they've really beat the crap out of this place. There's a lot of holes in the fence. I'm gonna have to watch that. That's the problem with a joint like this, is a lot of maintenance. Anyway, so I'm gonna give you just a look at the structure that I've built. All out of iron blocks. And uh, up to a point, it was actually built legitimately, um, without cheats. Uh, I built everything, this goes down to the tunnel. I built everything up to about the midpoint of this room, eh, somewhere around there, with actual iron that I uncovered from the earth. And then anything beyond that point was uh, cheated in, just because I just ran out and I just wanted to keep building it, and I was too excited, and I didn't want to forget what I was doing. You know, you guys understand. You, when you do creative shit, you start start getting frustrated if you don't have the materials to keep being creative, right? But you can see here what I've done here. I've just completely cordoned off the area that was here. Added a, a metal trussing fence. And the reason for metal trussing fence is because I can do this. Shoot right through it. Don't do that. Don't, don't break my fence. But anyway, that's not the, uh, the only thing I want to show you. So... This is just kind of one of those really neat little things you start building because you got nothing better to do. Um, you know, Roger and I had pretty much established that we've uh, end end gamed this uh, alpha build again. There wasn't really anything else we could do, but I'm just going to give you an idea here exactly. You can see these uh, these pits that I dug out with the TNT. Those were dug uh, legitimately for the most part. And then I, I cleaned them up with some cheated TNT and stuff like that later on, and some cheated augers just to, to make them a little better. I'm going to give you guys a heads up on something. Do not. Oh, yeah. So you can see here, it's about to become nighttime, so I really want to show you this quickly before it uh, gets too dark. But, yeah, you can just see each level of this place here. Come on. What the hell's the problem here? Why can't I climb this thing? Here we are. Alright, so now here we are at the top of the Citadel. Again, uh, this is all cheated and shit just because I wanted to finish it off. Don't judge me. Ooh, look at the moon! Gorgeous. But from up here you can get an idea of just how high up we are. I didn't want to go any higher. I mean, I could have easily built this son of a bitch to the skybox, but um, building in the city is not safe. And building a structure like this is not safe either. Because they get they can get to it, and uh, they can't break it down because it's too large. It's uh, now a part of the world, but a structure like this, they can get to it. I was very surprised at that. But yeah, just to give you an idea, so uh, this is the Citadel, all made out of iron blocks. As I said, some of it was started with legitimate uh, resources, and I just cheated the rest in because I wanted to finish the damn thing. And don't judge me. A bit off more than I could chew. But you can see you can see the amount of work I had to do. I had to fill in the entire ground below us with stone. That was cheated in mostly. Um, just because it was just a pain in the ass. The, all the holes that Rogers and I, Roger and I dug were all big problems. You can see the trenches. But look at the, look, just look at the view that I've got. It's so beautiful. Anyway. I'm just going to go outside of the city here, show you just how tall this structure actually is, because it's so much larger than you could possibly imagine. <coughs> Alright, so th there. Just to give you an idea of that sucker. It's pretty, uh, pretty monolithic. 
I'm quite proud of it. It's it's indestructible, being t um, being made out of iron blocks. You can't grief it with explosives or anything like that. Somebody could shoot it all day all day long. It wouldn't be able to would not be able to destroy this thing. But I just kind of wanted to to go for like a kind of like the citadel from Half Life 2. You know how it just towers above the city. You can see it forever. I kind of wanted to do something similar to that. Eh, you know, I I only got so much of it done before I I had to quit. But yeah, look how far away you can see that thing, man. It's pretty cool. Oh. And here's our normal house. I don't know how the hell they busted a hole in the wall like that, but it seems they bu probably busted from the inside out. I had to guess. I haven't been here for a while. Looks like they've been beating the crap out of this place. They can't get in here. There's too many spikes and shit. But yeah. Now I want to go and... Uh, maybe I can make it over there. I want to show you what Roger... And I started to build, but never finished. I, it, came, it just came down to we got lazy and bored, and we didn't want to keep going. Uh, if I can remember where it is. I think it's on the other side of town. I really have to, like, check my map, but as soon as I stop running, they're going to fucking kill me, so... But yeah, I think that's pretty cool looking, like, just how far away you can see it. It's I like it, I like it. And just, you know, it's the kind of stuff you can do in this game. It's not as not as clever as Minecraft, you know, and I'll never be able to build something as cool as, like, Sajin of the Yogg's cast building, like, Erebor or some crazy thing like that. But, this game isn't like Minecraft. It's nothing like Minecraft. It's a survival horror game. Now, let's see if I can find out, if I can figure out where the hell Roger's place is. It's out here, which is that direction. I don't know how that guy got on the inside. So this this was an experiment to see if if I could actually, you know, build something like that. And you can. Um uh oh. I'm lost. But there's a downside to it. Ah, good. Here's Roger's place. Whoa. There's a downside to it. It's not defendable. This little island here uh, at Roger's joint is defendable. Let me just get some torches out here. Um, torches, torches. Okay, I just want to sh show you guys this place. Fuck sakes, come on. Alright. So, I want you to get an idea of what this is. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it is right to the bedrock. And this is a, this is a tactic we learned a long time ago that the zombies can't obviously get to this spot. And the best they can do is they group up like that and they slowly knock each other off. Watch. There she goes. So, anything you build surrounded by a pit like that is 100% safe because the zombies can't get to you. And all that happens is they, um, they fall off. Now you might be saying, well, won't they just climb the bridge? Well, as long as you leave one gap like that. They won't cross the bridge. Um, the crawlers won't cross the bridge. Watch. See the spider zombie? He won't cross it. So now if you were to build my citadel, as you can see out there, on this island, it would be 100% defensible. Because once it gets to a large enough size, you couldn't grief the thing into destruction anymore, right? But yeah, so that's, that's kind of the idea. 
And, uh, you know, I, I'm probably, we're probably going to hold off playing until uh, the next Alpha, Alpha A comes out. Just because uh, kind of pretty much finished what we can do in Alpha 7 at the moment. And uh, we kind of both lost interest. And now Reaper of Souls is out, so we're probably going to be playing that for a while. But anyways, I just want to show you guys this. Give you some ideas when it comes to building stuff. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you in the next episode of Evan Better Presents.